Hi guys. So earlier on a previous video, the one that I uh, posted previous to this, I said that I was I got some plans from eBay, and um, I am making it this video to show what I'm going to do to the plants to make sure they're clean and to make sure there's no snails on them, and also how, what uh, what plants I have, and I also want to show me planting them. So they're here in these boxes. I got star grass, which is in the the smaller box on top, and I got dwarf hair grass in the bot, which is in the box, the bigger one on the bottom, and also in the bigger one on the bottom. I got cryptocorian wenti green and cryptocorian wenti brown, which are both in the box on the bottom as well. So I am going to first rinse them off, and hopefully I'll be able to soak them in hot water. So I will show you me doing that. Okay, so here are the plants. They're all out. I took them out of the boxes. So here's the star grass. I got a bunch of stems of that. And then here's the potted plants. This is Cryptocorin wenti green. This is potted. And then Cryptocorin wenti brown, also potted. And then here's the dwarf hair grass, also potted. So I'm going to be washing these under the tap and then hopefully washing them under hot water to make sure there's no snails on them. Okay, so I've washed off the star grass and the dwarf hair grass. And now I'm going to wash off the crypt. The dwarf hair grass was a little bit hard to wash off because I had to watch, wash like each individual strain and that took a long time. So, okay. Okay, so I'm done washing them now, and I'm going to take them back upstairs to the fish tank. Okay, so I finished washing the plants, and I am going to... It's almost 10 o'clock um, in the evening now, so I'm really tired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to float the plants in the tank just to make sure they're wet. And I'm going to put them, and I'm going to plant them in the morning. So I'll show you in the morning when I'm going to do that. I thought this was kind of funny. Um, I looked in here, and my yo-yo loach is there on top of my mag float. He's just sitting there on top of the mag float. I thought that was kind of funny. Oh, he's sliding off. So yeah, um, I'm going to float these in the tank and I'll show you tomorrow morning when I'm going to plant them. Okay, so they're in the tank now and I'm just, they're just floating on the surface there. They don't look very great at the minute because they're not planted, but tomorrow they'll be planted. I'm planning on putting the Cryptocorines kind of in the middle between that one cryptocorine there and the bogwood and I'm gonna probably keep the Ludwigio Reapens where it is and I might be moving some this some of these crypts over there and I might keep a, keep a couple over here and then also the star grass I'm gonna scatter around the log over here and over here and I'm also gonna put the dwarf hair grass kind of in like a quarter circle kind of look um around the log because to make it look like I'm not sure it's like the auto it's my auto catfish spend a lot of time in the bogwood so it's like their home so I want to make it look like a little pathway into there all right so uh, I will be planting the plants tomorrow and I'll show you that in the morning okay so it's the next day now and I just let the plants float on the surface overnight and they're all fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on these paper towels and I'm going to, hopefully I'm going to trim the dwarf hair grass down because it looks a little too tall right now for me because I want it pretty short because I'm going to be putting it right there. Um, so I'm going to be trimming it down and laying it all out on this towel here and I'm probably going to be laying the rest of the plants out here and I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put them. Okay, so I cut them all up into, I trimmed the, the dwarf hair grass down pretty far just to, because I want it kind of short and I want it to make kind of a carpet and I'm also going to make kind of a carpet with the star grass so I made it kind of short too. Here's all the clippings. Um, so I just used normal scissors and I just put the clippings on, the, on this paper towel and then I put the plants on this one. And when you cut dwarf hair grass down this small, it kind of remains that small for quite a while, so that should be good. And star grass, is what I've heard, is one of the fastest growing plants you can get. 
and I've trimmed all the stems kind of in half and you can just plant the clippings um, you can just plant the top half and the bottom half in the ground it'll grow roots and it'll grow so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna and here's the crypts up here I didn't really trim these that much because I don't think I need to I'm gonna use these tweezers right here and I am just going to use the tweezers to plant the plants because that makes it easier I don't a lot of people use special planting tweezers that are longer but I think these will work just as well so now they're finally ready to go in the fish tank So what I've noticed so far is that there just is not enough sand in this tank, so I'm going to be getting some more sand out of a bucket from downstairs and bringing it up and putting it in. Okay, so I finally finished planting all the plants, and they're looking okay, but, you know, it looks a little bit too crowded over here. Oh, the auto catfish are going crazy, chasing each other around. Um, but it looks a little too crowded over here, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I had a lot more plants than I thought I was going to get, and so I think I may be rearranging this to... I might be taking some of the crypts out. Like, when I got the crypts... Um, I split each crypt in half, so I ordered two, but now I have four. So, you know, like there's a brown one and a green one, and then there's another green one and a brown one over here. Then there's some of the smaller crypts, the crypt luteas over here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one brown one and uh, one cryptocorine went I brown, one cryptocorine went I green, and one cryptocorine lutea, and just line them up here kind of going diagonally from the wood over here to this corner and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other plants um, I'll probably keep all the crypt luteas but um, I think I might be selling some of them so um, also this star grass it's not looking as this this patch at least isn't looking as nice as I expected because they went through quite a vigorous washing process yesterday and they I think they melted in the tank so I'm not sure what's going to happen with that, but I really like how this star grass is looking over here by the log. But it's not very green now because it's adjusting to the tank, but a week from now it should be pretty green. And here's some more star grass I planted over here, and we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to be rearranging the star grass or what. And then also over here I have um, the dwarf hair grass, and I had a lot more of this than I thought, so I might be taking some of this out too. And I think I will be trimming it down even farther because it's not it's a little taller than I expected it would be. Well, I, I should have trimmed it a little bit shorter, so I'll probably trim it a little bit more and I want it to, to kind of just make like a quarter circle over here. So about a week from now, I'll give you an update on how well the plants are doing and I might be rearranging some things. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye.